Um, yeah, I could definitely touch on this topic. Uh, I grew up in Miami, Florida, very uh, specifically in Kendall in Miami. And it was a very heavily populated Latin community. So, um, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I'm in school. And I got told a lot uh, while I was a kid, like, you need to get a tan. You're too white. You're too pale. And I didn't, I didn't know this. I didn't know I was too pale until I went to school. And then the kids that had like naturally tan skin, you know, they were Hispanic. They, they let me know almost on a daily basis that I was way too white. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about it. Um, because if I go in the sun, I just burn or get freckles. So it's not like it's going to happen for me anyway. Uh, so I developed something with that for sure. I was also told I was too skinny. You know, same thing with uh, with you, Keisha. I don't know if you were told or if you just developed it, you know, in, in your subconscious on your own. But I was definitely told I was too bony because I, I was pretty thin growing up. Um, so that carried with me a long time. I remember uh, being a kid and not wanting to wear a bathing suit without a shirt on um, and different things like that. Or maybe not wanting to wear shorts because of how pale my legs were. So uh but what was interesting, I think, is that I didn't feel this on my own. This was something that, you know, was told to me by other kids. Okay. In the UK, but I grew up in um, Nigeria. Uh, so for me, body image has just been, um, I, I, first of all, I would just say that I'm so thankful um, for uh, the role my mom played in, you know, just helping me um, appreciate myself, you know, and teach me about confidence and all of that. Um, because like you rightly said, I, you know, in Nigeria as well, being, I, I think Caribbeans and um, Africans have a lot of similarities in terms of how we view um, bodies. Um, so for us, for, for me back home, being skinny, <laughs> um, I sort of looked upon as, you know, are you sick? Is something wrong with you? Like, uh, do you have AIDS or something like why are you um like that you know and being curvaceous and big just it's a sign of good life you know it means that it means you're 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 healthy um things are well with you you're you know you're you're i mean there's nothing wrong with you um but when you're skinny uh it's like okay this, there must be something wrong there uh, so yeah. definitely i did get a lot of you know um questions. Uh, one funny story was um, I had actually visited home a while back. This was many, many years back, but I was, you know, mm -hmm. uh, grown at that point. Um, but I'd visited home and, you know, some kid that had grown up, you know, in the neighborhood saw me and he, you know, he came all the way to me. He's like, is everything okay? Like he had this genuine concern look on his face. And mm -hmm. so I was like, you know, he called me aside and he was like, okay, I just really want to check in with you. So I felt really, I was like getting worried, like what's going on? Is everything okay with you? Um, he's like, no, I just want to you know, just really check with you. Are you okay? Is everything, you know, what's going on? Are you sick? I'm like, sick? No, I'm not sick. Like, what? He's like, no, because you're, so it's like, really? I'm not sick. I'm just, this is just me, you know, and I eat a lot, guys. I do eat a lot. Um, yeah. But it's just, it's, it's just me, like, I, I don't know, it's just how, I, you know, my body is. And it, so I, I, I got, I got teased a lot. That's all I'm trying to say. But mm -hmm. the good thing, though, and, the, and that's why I always say parents, or those who are in charge of, you know, um, kind of laying a, a foundation for young people, yeah. uh, play a very important role in how they see themselves. Because, you know, in my house, my, my mom never, you know, um, she, she never made any comment or um, let us feel as if, you know, we were different or we, there was something wrong with us. She always um, helped us understand that, you know, you're beautiful the way you are. You know, I have, I've, I've got gap teeth. And, you know, for me, I, I, up until now, like, I don't have a problem with it. You know, yeah. it's one of the cultural shocks, like coming here. I'm like, oh, gosh, everyone's so obsessed with, you know, go get braces. I'm like, really? Why? You know, yeah. so it's all about having that, you know, self-confidence, you know, in yourself, in your identity, in your image and all that. So, um, okay. so that, you know, I, I guess for me is just 
um, the, coupled with, you know, the, the training and the affirmations that my mom. Um, body image is definitely different for men than for women, I could say. And it's, and it's because, you know, um, I guess women are more critical of each other's bodies. I mean, men are too, but not so much. Like we kind of tease, we, we'll tease each other and things of that nature, but it is not like, 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 you know, with women, like you really, women really internalize that yeah. as far as um, how the body image and the images that they see. Whereas men, we don't so much, maybe like, I think maybe when, as we get older, we kind of see, we kind of, we kind of think about it a lot, but not so much when we're younger. Like for me, for instance, I've always been, a, I've always been a bigger guy. Like I'm the tallest in my family and I'm also the largest in my family. So it's always been, for me, it's always been a struggle. I've had a struggle personally with body image just only because of, compared to the rest of my family members, I look different. I am the yeah. tallest, like I said, I'm six foot three and I'm in that 300 pound range as of right now. So like yeah. I've always been a bigger guy, just be um, just growing up. So they've, they've always said, hey, you need to lose weight or you need to do this and all that. But then again, as a young child, I played three or four sports and excelled at all three or four of them. And so, and then even as I, you know, for those of you that don't know me, I also served in the military, I also served in the army. And, yeah. you know, the army also um, wants you to be super duper thin. So that kind of messed with me a lot. So I've had personally a lot of body image issues because of the fact that, you know, I was getting it from my family. And then like, even as an adult, I was getting it from my superiors in the military who also wanted me to be thin. So it kind of messed with me a lot. And I internalized it a lot, too. but like my situation was unique. That normally doesn't happen for men too much. Like they don't care too much about their body image. Only as they get older, when they get into their thirties or forties, I've noticed. Whereas women, it's like since they were little girls. So, you think that women that we place, well, families actually place a lot of pressure on young girls versus young boys to be of a certain, to look a certain way, because I feel like in this culture, it starts so early, you know, the dieting and stuff, and it's always geared towards little girls. And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of us grew up with image and insecurities. Um, and I think, it, do, do we believe that, do we think that body image is formed through our families, like it's developed or something that just develops or is something that our family contributes to? Heather, do you, what do you think? I, I, I think it goes, I think it goes to, um, through our families, definitely, because okay. th those are the first people that we are around and those are the people that kind of form and shape us as, as young people. So because of that, I think that's where it comes from initially. And then, of course, you know, the second place it comes from is your peer group, you know, the people that you went to yeah. school with and your people that you work with. Um, definitely school, because that's the one that will stand out in your mind most. And as far as the kids tease you for being too tall, too short, too skinny, too fat, you know, your, you know, your skin looking a certain way. So like did th those things will also affect you from your peer group. Cause like um, your family could probably be telling you that you're beautiful, that you're gorgeous, that you're handsome, that you're cute. And then you go to school and like, Oh, you ugly little thing, <laughs> short little thing. And so that can also affect your body and issues. And then when you're thinking like, I need to change this, I need to lose this weight or I need to lose this. Or I need to get you no know, bigger in this area or whatever. So it can affect you in a lot of, and it'll affect you in a lot of ways and have you start changing the way you look. That's why a lot of people get plastic surgery. That's why a lot of people get, um, that's, I mean, I mean, and that's, that's the, I would say the bad side of the people getting plastic surgery, changing their nose, their face, their lips, their hips, thighs, breasts, whatever. Um, and then like, I mean, the positive side of that, it could force you to make uh, a healthy lifestyle change as far as working out, mm -hmm. um, going to the gym, eat, you know, just eating healthier, making healthier choices. It could also force you in that way. But a lot of times all that negative stuff is coming to